the justices of the Supreme Court, Constitutional Court, Court of Appeal and the judges of the High Court convened for a second day at the 17th Annual Judges Conference taking place in Entebbe. The judges discussed issues that are affecting the vision, management and performance of Uganda's judicial system. Justice Lawrence Gidudu of the Anti-Corruption Court raised concerns on whether the judiciary can perform its duties without a substantive head. I think a vision is measured 5, 10, 20, 30 years ahead. And the person who sees that horizon cannot be said to be acting in an interim. Can you have a performance without leadership? But what I can say is that um, leadership is important in every institution. One of the speakers, Justice Luka Kimaruki Protich from Kenya, urged Ugandan judges to focus on expeditiously working on the cases they have at hand as their core duty. At the end of the day, the consumers of justice are concerned with the time in which their cases will be disposed of, from the time they file the case to the time the case is concluded. Professor Waswa Balunywa, the principal of Makere University Business School, told the judiciary to think about incorporating modern technology into their system to avoid making errors. For instance, the judge is right. As people speak in court, they are right. I think to me this is an obsolete method of, uh, of uh, managing a court session. That means that the lawyer out there must be slow enough to ensure that the judge is writing everything that he says. They are modern recorders and they are very cheap. In his speech, the principal judge, Justice Shiro Kambamwini, stressed that they have reduced the number of case backlog accumulated between 2013 up to 2014. We are getting to the top of the situation. The regist registrations and the disposals are about to start marching, but we are not yet. The conference with the theme, the role of the judiciary in accelerating transformation of Uganda's economy, runs up to the 26th of February. Suhail Mugabe, NTV. Okay.